Hello everyone and welcome to yet again another Friday new product post where we talk about all the new products that we have for this week before your lovely weekend. So let's start talking about products. So here we are in my office where we're going to talk about our first two products. Um, these are heating pads. We've got them in two different sizes. We've got a um, 5 by 15 centimeter and then a 10 by 5 centimeter. And these are spec to work at around you know 3 to 5 volts. Uh, the manufacturer does state, do not specifically go above that, but, well, that's why we're here. We're going to show you what happens. Um, but first, we should probably just talk a little bit about these. Um, they are these nice crinkly little things. They're very thin, very flexible, as you can see. They have this um, polyester mesh on the inside, and they have this little wire that runs through it. And quite simply, you apply power, it resists the power, heats up, and creates warmth. Um, I think we'll, we'll test later with our little um, thermometer gun here, but they get up to about, let's say, 130, 140 degrees at 5 volts, but it is possible to power them beyond that. Um, however, you do run some risks of um, actually damaging the pad itself. We'll talk about that later. Um, this is one that we actually damaged by heating it up too much. They can get up to about you know, 310 degrees, and that's where the polyester starts to melt. So let's hook one of these up like I have, look at the um, thermometer here and see what happens at five volts. So right now we're measuring about yeah, 74, 75 degrees and let's turn it on. We've got it set to five volts and um, the current limiting is off so it should draw as much current as it needs. So we turn it on and you can see instantly 78, 79, 80, 81, maybe two, blah, blah, blah. Um, right now we're drawing about 0.6 amps, and this is the 5 by 15 centimeter. And um, we'll just let it keep going here. So we're about 93, 94, 95. Went down a little bit. And if we let this sit for you know, a few minutes, um, this should get to about 120 degrees. Um, yeah, we're only measuring about 100 right now. Um, so that's what happens with this. Let's just plug in the smaller one just as kind of a comparison. And since it's already been on for a second. Now on the smaller one, we're actually drawing 0.8 amps. So we're actually drawing a little bit more current, um, presumably because it's a smaller surface area. So it's going to draw more current for the surface. Um, and we're about 105, something like that. So that's how these work. They heat up generally pretty quick, but it takes them a while to get all the way up to their temperature. But keep in mind, this is only at 5 volts and 0.8 amps, or 0.6 on the bigger one. So they don't draw a ton of current. You're probably wondering what happens if we increase the voltage. Well. Let's have a look at this. We're at a 112, 113, something like that. Let's go up to 6 volts. You can see 119, somewhere around there, 120. So it definitely goes up. Now if we increase this up to 9, now we're at 9, we're drawing 1.2 amps, and you can see we're about 140 and still rising pretty quickly. So yeah, we're well over 150, and you can definitely feel some warmth coming off of this. Now, something to note is I've actually run both of these, this and the um, larger one, for about six hours at 12 volts, and I had no issues whatsoever. They did get very warm. Um, the other thing I will mention, too, is so this is right around uh, 160. Now, if I put my hand on this, and then measure it, we've actually cooled it off considerably. These things do not recover very quickly from being cooled off. So if you have these in gloves or mittens or you know a tank of water, you're going to have to adjust for that. Right now it's just in open air and you know we're measuring 170 or whatever, but as I put my hand on it, you can see it cools it off pretty quickly. So that is something to take into account. Um, all these measurements are just the nominal open air rating, you know, just without anything on it to cool it off. So 
let's go up to 12 volts and see what happens it there. Things get kind of interesting. So we're 12 volts, we're about almost one and a half amps, and you can see we're well over 200 degrees. We're approaching 220, and you can really feel some heat coming off this, actually 230. Um, this should peak at around 240, I think, is what we tested it at. Well, it's still going. And as you can see, it's actually starting to crinkle a little bit. It's not flat like this one was. So this is kind of the highest point that I would run these at, um, you know, for any length of time. But as you can see, 245, 246, they do get pretty warm. So if you had this um, that you're using to incubate or do something like that, this is about as much as I would run into them. I and it is very warm, almost hot, you know, too hot to the touch. But as I said, by putting your hands on it or you know putting something else on it will insulate it and cool it down so it runs at 12 volts just fine without anything insulating it if you were to insulate it it would run a little bit cooler so you might be okay with that so your mileage may vary but this is just a test to give you an idea now i'm going to turn this up to 16 volts and show you what happens when this actually breaks down and goes it gets too hot for its own good so we've zoomed in a little bit just to show you what's going on. We're like 240 degrees right now at 12 volts at about 1.35 amps. So let's turn the power supply up as high as it can go, which is 17.5. You can instantly see and hear a little bit the polyester start to break down. And we're at 320 and still increasing. We're almost at 330 or past 330 right now. And you can see these wires are just severing through all the polyester there. And I wouldn't necessarily recommend running them like this, um, just because the polyester is what's keeping all the wires separated. Um, so it's, it's obviously being broken down. Now, like I said before, if you had something on this that was insulating it, that insulator would maybe make it not get so hot and therefore wouldn't cut through the polyester. So. Your mileage may vary. Keep in mind these are only rated up to 5 volts. However, we're demonstrating that they can reliably go up to about 12 volts and they start to break down at, we're at 17 and a half right now. And we're drawing consistently 1.6 amps. And if we measure it, we're about 350 degrees and it is very warm over the top. Now, as I said, this is not typical use case scenario, but we just wanted to give you a little bit better idea of what the ratings meant, that these are in fact rated for only five volts, but as we've demonstrated here, you can run them higher with, you know, a lot of different caveats. Um, at the 17 and a half volts at 1.6 amps, that is definitely where we start to see some breakdown. Um, at 12 volts, like I said, I had both of these running for four to six hours on my desk without any issues, and those were not being insulated by anything. So um, take that for whatever it's worth to you, um, but know that it's rated at five volts, probably perfectly fine at nine, and probably perfectly fine at 12. Um, and you're gonna run into some issues beyond 16. So hopefully that gives you a better idea, and there you go, the heating pads.